Throughout the ages, God has called to His people to abandon their lives to Him. From a mountaintop, He sent His message through Moses. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. In the voice of His own Son, He called again, saying, Come, take up your cross and follow me. These words, they're not only for ages past, but for today. They are not only for a select few, but for every one of us with ears to hear. Down through the years, our world has been changed by the lives of men and women who have had the faith to answer, Yes, Lord, take my whole heart. Yes, Lord, I will follow you. I believe that God made me for a purpose. But he also made me fast, and when I run I feel his pleasure. To give it up would be to hold him in contempt. To win is to honor him. If it meant having no place to lay my head, I knew I must go and tell what I had learned in the camps. That there is no pit so deep or dark, that God's love is not deeper still. But suddenly, what had been an ideal had become a demand. Total surrender to God, the absolute leap in the dark. The demand was not even all or nothing. That stage had been passed. Now the demand was simply all. For it is my determined purpose to be my utmost for His highest, to my best for His glory. This is a question of the will, not of debate or reasoning. It is an absolute and irrevocable surrender, a shutting out of every other consideration and keeping myself before God in this one thing only, my utmost for His highest.